Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We are back in the chop shop. So today we are here taking a look at our 1958 single cab split screen factory um, safari window bus. This is pressed bumper, semaphores, and there is something a little bit different about this bus. Wayne's here again. Hello. Hello, start of the show. And we're gonna take a bit of a tour around the bus because there's probably only a handful of these ones around. So she is in the shop at the moment. Uh, I think we can see from the back of her, she has been used to store some things, but she is a utility. So here we go, we'll do a little bit of a tour. Uh, press bumpers, so here we go down here. It is factory safari windows. She has got a little bit of patina about it, bless her. And there on the doors as well. Obviously the old rubbers just go and go all brittle and cracked and fall off over a period of time, but there she is. She has got semaphores, so they are just round here. Here we go, so press bump for semaphore bus. Here's the interior. That's the cover for the drug smuggler tray. She's not in bad nick, like the floor is not too bad. She's got the gauge in there as well. All the roof there, not particularly in bad condition. I guess like all buses, the bottom six inches are probably where all the action is. Have a look down there and all through there but not really in horrendous condition. You know, it is the bottom six inches. There is a bit of um, rust on the top tray, but not really too bad. And then here we go, she does have an engine. By the way, these are the seats for our um, Outlaw 356. These were the original seats in the car. This is the engine. She will need a little bit of work, but everything is there. So that's not too bad. There we go. The indicators and stop lights on the rear. So she's not in bad condition. And then I think for the astute viewers, they might have seen something a little bit different on the back of the cab. So let's go take a look at that. So as we said, for the astute watchers, they would have seen something a little bit different on the back of the cab but also as we skimmed down the side of the bush, you notice that there's no side vents. However, the roof up here isn't a muffin top roof, so it's not got a higher roof for dusty conditions. Oh, I'm just about to sneeze because we're buying this dust off the car. However, around the back here is how the engine gets the fresh air into the engine bay. So these are scoops just here on both sides and this is a skin on here and it goes through there into a duct underneath the tray so here we go we're on the other side of the bus this is where the duct is underneath in the drug smuggler tray for the fresh air to get down so it comes through the vents up at the top here comes all the way underneath and then goes into the engine bay at the back of the dog box. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition. The floor's not too bad. Again, it's just the bottom six inches that look like they need plenty of work. You know, it's got a fuel tank in there. The engine is in there. You might want to take the floor off the top here to be able to perhaps tidy up the, um, the air duct tray, but really not bad condition. Here we go on the corner that we talked about. It doesn't have the, the old vents down there because all the air comes through here. I think there are just a handful of these dusty condition versions floating around. It is a particularly rare bus being, you know, press bumper, semaphore bus, right hand drive, right -hand drive um, the safari windows and then this dusty condition. It's, it's, uh, she's a pretty special bus. This is the other side of the cab. Again, another storage area, but the drug smuggler tray isn't in bad condition. 
Might need a bit of repair, but it's not too bad. There is a bit more airflow through the floors there that will probably need a bit of a touch up, but these panels are easy to, to get. Generally though, like there's not a lot on a single cab that needs a lot of work really, is there? But that is pretty good condition. You could either, I guess, repair the bottom six inches and uh, drive it a bit ratty or uh, do a full restoration on it. But being an early bus, she's... Um, it's worth restoring. It is worth restoring. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because th there's not many of these around. No. Like, it's a bus well worth saving. Press bumper, semaphore, early single cabs are rare, as is, so it's a beast. Hmm. The, the doors are in pretty good condition. There's no rust or damage in the roof. Like that would be that would be fine. Like the nose has got a few bumps and dents in it, but nothing that can't be repaired. And it's actually in, in it's pretty good basic, condition. Uh, can't be restoration. They all go in exactly the same spots. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah it's, it's what you'd way. expect to be a standard kind of resto. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. You'd remove everything, get it blasted, and then start from the front, work your way back. Yeah, it's not, it's not that much. No. And not like a horrendous barn find where... It's not like that. <laughs> it's nowhere like that. I think that... The, we, we won't talk about the tempo. We've covered the tempo in another video. But look at her there. I think people might be able to see our dual cab over there. That does come with a bit of a story. So that's our dual cab. We actually got that from the States, imported that, I don't know if that's 15, 20 years ago. Uh, we had it engineered and converted to right-hand drive. Um, however, um, the passenger door is still on the wrong side for a, a right-hand drive conversion. We didn't bother with that, but the steering wheel has all been converted over. I think we can see in there, this, and I'd actually forgot about that. That has got a Gene Berg shifter in it. And this has one of those light steer steering columns where um, it adjusts the, um, it gives you power steering depending on what kind of speed you're doing. So it's like GPS controlled. We never tried it and I actually forgot that was in there. So this was turboed, this bus, um, and it was running EFI, but we put it into a shop many, many moons ago for them to do a restoration on it. And uh, the shop went belly up and then basically the bus has been left like this. So it went in a driving bus and uh, came out like this. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think there's actually too much that needs doing. It probably needs tidying up in a few areas because um, it's been sat like this for a little while. Here you can see a bit of surface rust. It's not actually anything serious or anything that needs panels and bits cutting off of it, but it would need that work done on it before it was painted. So. I don't know what we're going to do with this. I kind of lost heart in it because of the pain that it had been through the restoration, trying to get the car back. There's a whole ball of history with this bloody thing. But um, she was a really nice bus. Done a lot of Ks in it. Um, we might try and push her out. I don't, is the motor in the back of it? I think, yeah? Yeah. All right, well, we might try and have a look. It has got a little tuck away turbo. Um, we might push the single cab back and uh, see if we can push this out. The tyres don't look too bad on it. It might not be too hard to push and uh, we'll take a bit of a look.
so we actually decided to pull the dual cab out to take a bit of a look at it the body is good all the rust repair has been done but I think we showed just a second ago just like on the seams right because it's been sat around for a little while before it was painted we need to rub all that back treat it and then paint it but realistically the body's in great condition and Nick and like I said there's a few upgrades on it that we weren't really too sure or that we just forgot because it's been sat around for a little while but um, we've done some kilometers in this bus this one has got all the gates again a load of stuff in there it did used to have some nice hoops on the back and I think this wood here is from the hoops and then I don't know where the hoops, the hoops are here. Oh, are the hoops over there ah then the hoops are over here next to our beloved bread van so the hoops are there so it does look really nice when it's all kind of put together um, now let's have a, a look at the engine bay because this does have a very nice little engine in it look at that there that is a tuck away turbo on the motor the turbo is just down there we do have a little bit of artwork on the cooler i don't know if we can see the turbo from underneath there but she was just a bit of a pig for a long time we used to drive along and it would um drop the programming from the ECU and I think that's because when it was installed all the wires were cut on the ECU I'm gonna say that it wasn't done particularly well and uh, it just kept dropping its program so it wouldn't go on to boost or anything like that and then we decided to give it a lick of paint before we kind of got that fixed and then it's just been like this for ages a long long time get off the dusty floor but not a lot to do on her she is a 65 i think people would have uh, kind of picked that up like we said converted but engineered um, normally i'm not kind of worried about converting them from left hand drive to right hand drive but the intent was to make this fairly quick and having a quick car and uh, being stuck on the wrong side could be a little bit of a pain but um not a bad bus at all i kind of feel bad for this one because she has gone through a bit of a horrid life so I think we'll have a bit of a think about this and now we're back in Australia and uh, the world is kind of getting normalish again however we are locked down in Perth at the moment um, we'll think about what we're going to do with this bus I think this one's got loads and loads to do on it but the dual cab is a little bit different so we'll have a bit of a think about that so hope you enjoyed the video um, another tour of the chop shop uh, not quite sure what we're going to do with the buses one needs a considerable more work than uh, the dual cab but um, both buses well worth getting back on the road and i think now we're uh, finding our feet back in australia again we're going to have a good think about those but as the air compressor starts that's enough from us enough from wayne See you next time with a new video. See you later, guys.